welcome back to the show. It's hard to believe that there can be this much junk hanging out in the river. Hard to believe this river was once blue at one time. Uh, we need to get this cleaned up. Anyways, back to the show. Well, lately we've been bringing you up to date with a segment on weight training and weightlifting. We've been following Dave Carlson, who's trying to make that junior college team. Well, part of the reason for that is this, as my shoes get all wet. Part of the reason is, is because in the off season, basketball players are made. The off season, not during the season. It's in the off season when you can implement those skills, when you can gain the strength to help you during the regular season. Well, with that in mind, Dave's been on a 13-week training program, and we'll check in with him and see how his training program is doing as the weeks roll right along. leg extensions for the purpose of strengthening his tendons and ligaments in his knee and around his knee. Um, it helps like in season when it's not time to do squats and different exercises like that require a lot of weight. You just want to do leg extensions and leg curls for maintaining strength during the season. Um, you don't want to lift heavy weights. You're tired and fatigued enough from practice. Um, the reason he does leg curls is to equally strengthen his hamstrings along with his, his thighs. You don't want to have an imbalance there. You know, your hamstrings are 90% of your speed up and down the court in your lateral movement. Yeah, it's still still work because it's still, uh, Jeff talked about my like, condition and getting better, but you know, I know it's uh, it can get a lot better. You know, I know I can still uh, go higher and get into a groove and then go from there. I'm still getting working to a point, you know, getting comfortable. I don't think I'm there yet. Okay, this exercise works your upper abdomen section. Basically, your, your power, your strength, you know, everything coordinates around your stomach. You know, you'll never find a basketball player who doesn't have a strong stomach. Um, right now, you're just mainly concentrating on your upper abs right here. We'll do another exercise after this that concentrates on your lower abs down here. Um, keep your breathing controlled and just tense the muscles. You don't want to do a full sit-up. People still do full sit-ups these days. It's nothing but hurting your back. You want to concentrate on doing just a crunch. Good, keeping your back nice and flat and just raising up. This exercise definitely works. Low fat. Low fat, um, it's not necessarily a high calorie diet or you know, mega protein diet. It's, just, it's a low fat, healthy diet that cuts out a lot of the sugars, a lot of the junk. Basically, he's watching what he's eating. Well, yeah, that's and paying really. attention to, to the fat content and foods and everything like that. Um, on a diet, I don't really recommend people dieting, especially if the average person eats normal. The main thing is just to watch what you eat. If you go out to a restaurant and instead of ordering you know, a large fry, order a small fry or something, I mean, you, you can't change a person's nature. You, know, you can't take a person who's used to drinking pop and everything and saying, okay, no more pop now. You know, you have to drink mineral water. You know, you have to slowly, you know, wean them off and everything like that. And that's where Dave is right now. He's, he's just watching what he's eating. I cut out pop. Uh, I went from the whole milk down to skim milk. Skim milk yeah. I'm taking the stuff. See, little things like that really, really matter. You know, a lot of, a lot of chicken and rice and stuff like that. Well, just a lot of vegetables. Less, less, less of fat content yeah. really helps in a diet. Dave coming back after taking some time off to uh, get himself together from the injury, recover from his hip injury. As you can see, his intensity is picked up where he left off, and good luck to him as he continues to work along that 13-week training program. 
I'll tell you what, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. When we come back to Metro Area Sports, we're up. We found John Thomas, the star who's going to the University of Minnesota this year to play for Coach Clem Haskins, the basketball player from Roosevelt. Asked him a couple questions about how he's doing this summer. Stay tuned. That's right after this break. You're watching Metro Area Sports Rep.